Hello, hello gang. Kim here and welcome on back to my happy place. So guys, I think it's been a couple of months since I have filmed a haul video. So just by way of introduction, and I'm going to try not to take too long with this because I know sometimes my intros can be a bit lengthy. <laughs> If you are sitting down to watch this and you don't have a drink or a cup of coffee or something with you, I would suggest that you go and get one because I think this haul video is going to be a bit longer than normal. Second to that, and I suppose this goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. Guys, this is a judgment-free zone. <laughs> so I think that probably gives a hint as to where I'm going with this. The haul I'm going to show you today is large. Uh, even by my standards, it's large. But just bear in mind that these are canvases that I've pretty much ordered over the last two months. I think my last haul video went up sometime in October, which would have meant that I had gotten a shipment, I don't know, somewhere towards the beginning of October, somewhere around there. I have now received another shipment, and so I'm going to show you guys what I have bought, what I am adding to my stash, and all these new canvases so again please don't judge <laughs> this is my hobby and this is the hobby that i spend money on but having said that i have realized that i have been going a little bit crazy over the last few months and i have a definite plan to slow things down um, some of you may be thinking oh gosh here we go again kim saying she's going to slow down her ordering we've heard this all before <laughs> But to be honest, you guys, this time I'm serious about it. I actually have a mental plan going into 2024. Um, I have set very strict rules with myself about what I'm going to allow myself to buy and not buy. And so my buying is going to slow down substantially. I will continue to order from Diamond Art Club. But as for that, the rest are going to like really, really slow down because I have a stash that is now starting to get out of control. And when I come to film videos like this and getting all my latest kits together that I've bought, I also realize that things are going out of control. So there will be some changes heading into 2024. But for now, let's just enjoy this video. Let me share with you what I've, I've bought recently and let's have a look at all my new canvases. Right, so I want to kick off with what I got from Pam Diamond Painting. Now, as you guys know, I don't really show the canvases that I've bought from stores that don't come in their own boxes with their own photographs on the box because I don't do, you know, unboxings when the canvases arrive. I only do unboxings as I'm about to work on a kit. So for now, when it comes to Pam, let me just show you how my canvases arrived and then I will show you well, I'm going to open this box and we're going to have a look at how the canvas has arrived and I will show you what I can. Um, it's not going to be obviously a look at an actual box or an image or a photo because they don't arrive like that. But this is how my canvas has arrived. So they came in this nice sturdy cardboard box. There are stickers all over it. One of the stickers here, for example, says, there's nothing I love small than repeat customers like you. So that's quite sweet, quite nice to get a nice box like this. There are, in fact, stickers all over it. When I opened the box, this is how it was packaged inside. So this is what you can pretty much expect when you order from Pam. So obviously, this bubble or, or inf you know, inflated, what are they, like airbags, um, was on the top which is really nice and then you know that was obviously put in there to protect the canvases and then there was a card addressed to me i have read this card very very sweet just thanking me for being a fan of the store and for being a re repeat customer there were also some stickers inside and then there was a cover minder let me show you guys so this is the cover minder that came inside that envelope. Isn't that divine? Especially because I think Pam knows I'm obviously collecting the series. I think I've ordered a total of six or seven of these. Um, I don't know what to call them. Dark art princesses. And so Pam included this cover minder for me, which was really, really sweet. So there was the card, some stickers, the cover minder, and then obviously um, my invoice with, well, there's more than one here. I think this was two orders in this box. So two invoices. And then, let me show you, in this cardboard 
paper like this are about three canvases with the drills. I'm not sure why they were packaged like that and then some were individually packaged, but I don't mind. It doesn't matter to me. Oopsie, sorry I knocked you there. I just wanted to show you then that this is one of the canvases. You can see that it's come packaged in its own bag. The drills and everything I can feel are inside the canvas. Let me see if I can show you the image. So this is what I bought. Can you see that image now? Um, this is, if I'm not mistaken, this is Scorpio from the new Zodiac range that was released by Rose Prophet. It's not new, you knew, probably a couple of months ago. So this was um, or is another series that I'd like to collect. And so this is the first one that I ordered in this series. That is Scorpio. Now let's have a look at the other canvas in this box. It's one of Rose Profits as well. So again, packaged the same way. Um, these are round. So these canvases are all round. So again, as you can see, nicely packaged in the bag to protect it. And then this is... Can you guys see or is there a bit of a glare? There's a bit of a glare, but also it's because the image is not 100% straight. Let's see. There, hoping you can get a good look at her there. She is also the lady that was on the cover minder. So this is one of these dark art princesses from Rose Prophet series. I can't remember which this one was. Was that Jasmine? Hmm... The, yeah, I can't remember 100%, but there you guys can see, obviously, the, the thumbnail on the canvas of this image. So that was canvas number two that I ordered from Pam. And then, like I say, there's this card, well, not cardboard, I was going to say cardboard, it's not cardboard, it's paper. And then here are a good number of canvases rolled up. So let me see if I can... Yes. So without unrolling everything, I'm trying to show you the thumbnail on this one. So this is again another one of Rose Prophet's Dark Art Princesses. This was Snow White or Cinderella or one of them. Sorry guys, I can't remember. I would actually have to look at the name on the canvas. So I ordered that one. And then I also ordered this one. Again... <laughs> Again, I can't remember to tell you exactly what the name of this one is. This one might have been Snow White. Was this one Snow White? Oh, I can't remember. I'm so sorry. I can't actually remember who's who necessarily in the series. But this is obviously canvas number four that I ordered. So she combined these into, into one box for me. So that is these two canvases. Like I say, they've come rolled up like this. Um, I'm not going to unroll them and show you everything right now because obviously when I do an unboxing video um, then I will show you guys that. But for now I just wanted to try and show you what I had ordered from Pam and how the box came so that if you order more than one you can, can sort of see you know how your, your uh, box would be packaged and you know what it would look like. So now those are the four canvases from Pam. Then I had... Don't quote me now, but I think it was six or seven from the one with the diamond art. Now, again, um, although the kits did come in boxes, I'm going to show you the box now. The box didn't actually have a picture of the image on it. So what I'm going to do is um, I've just taken out all the drills, which are individually packaged. And they've obviously got the paper legend in there. And the paper legend has a thumbnail image. So from those thumbnail images, I think I'm going to be able to show you what I ordered from the one with the diamond art. So just give me a second to get all of that onto the table. And then I'll be right back. Okay, gang. So on my table now are the one, two, three, four, five, six kits. Well, they're not actually the kits. They're the drills and the paper legends from the kits that I bought from the one with the diamond art. So basically, their kits, the canvas, the drills, everything arrived in a box like this. So it obviously gets shipped um, straight from China. This is one of these, you know, Chinese boxes that comes from the manufacturer. I have heard from Kathy, one of the owners over at the One with the Diamond Art, that they are in the process of transitioning to their own boxes. So I think from December, when you order from them, it will come in a box of their own. But the point being that these canvases did come in the box. 
Some of the boxes contained two um, canvases and some of them just had one. So I just wanted to show you how the kits arrived. So they basically arrived in that box. And then let's just have a look at what I ordered. So like I said, I'm just going to show you the images that come on the paper legend. So they are the thumbnail images. I also can't remember specifically what all the names of these kits are, guys. I'm so sorry. You're just going to have to look at your screen and look at the images on the screen. Now and then, on a few of them, I know who the artists are, and so I can tell you that. So there's this one. I think it had the word bride in the title. And this one is by Fenera. And I ordered this one in round drills in the size 50 by 65 centimeters. This girl... I think if memory serves correct me correctly, was called Bat Girl or Bat Woman. Again, this one is also by the artist Venera. She's an AI artist who sells um, her art to quite a few diamond painting companies. But I think the one with the diamond art actually took her stuff on first, and they have the biggest range of her stuff. And in my opinion, the nicest range. But anyway, this is Bat Girl or Bat Woman. It's again around and again in the size 50 by 65 centimeters. Um, what should I show you next? Let me show you another Fenera. This is yet another Fenera. I cannot remember what this one is called. Um, again, I hope you can see that. I'm just trying to get the light to catch it nicely. It's sort of a skeleton woman. Um, I just love this one. Again, I ordered it in rounds in the size 50 by 65 centimeters. I pretty much am now going to be ordering all of my canvases in rounds except for from, um, Diamond Art Club and Ever Moment and possibly Dreamer Designs. I don't buy much from Dreamer Designs at all. Um, unfortunately, they don't release a lot of art that I really like. They are well known for their landscapes and cityscapes and all sorts of scapes. And I'm not a landscape person, so I don't buy much from Dreamer Designs. But obviously, when I do, I more go for the image because they release 90% of their stuff in squares. So I will order squares from Dreamer Designs, even though I do feel there's room for improvement with their squares. But from all of these other stores, the one with the Diamond Art Pams or any other store, I will only be ordering rounds. Then next, I got this. This is like a, um, it came in a series of what the owners call sort of a tarot card series. So there are... I don't know, 10 or 12 images similar to this. they sort of Halloween-y and they made to look like a tarot card. So I decided to pick this one up. So again, um, I got this one in rounds. This one is in the size 50 times 85 centimeters. So it's pretty large. The artist, there was no specific artist listed because it's more of a stock image apparently. It was obtained from some sort of stock image website. So I got that one. Then I got another one from Fenera, another one that I can't remember the name of. This is actually another round drill painting, um, and the size of this one is a 60 by 60. So I just, I think this is called, oh, it's coming back to me now. It's got a name that doesn't really actually fit the image. It's something like Graveyard of Ships, I think this one was called, Graveyard of Ships. And like I say, the artist was Fenera. And then my very last one is this one this one is libra and this is um from a series by fenera um where she did a whole sort of series of zodiac signs in a very fantasy um it's actually not dark art it's more of a fantasy series so i absolutely adore this image and i'm a libran so it couldn't be helped i ordered it in rounds and i got it in the size 60 by 80 centimeters now, having a look at that, hold on a second. <laughs> As I showed you Libra, I was like, no, no, no. I know I have a few more um, orders or canvases from the store. And I've just remembered where I put them. So give me two seconds, guys, just to, to fetch those as well. Okay, gang, I'm back. And yes, indeed, I had forgotten about two other canvases that I ordered from them. So I didn't order six from the one with the diamond art. I actually ordered eight. And like I say, as I showed you Libra, I was suddenly like, uh, hold on a second. There should be another one from that series. 
And then I remembered that I'd put the drills in another part of my hobby room because I was about to do something with them. But anyway, let me show you what else I got. So these are the last two canvases. Now this one comes from that same series um, of Veneeras, the, the Zodiac series. This one is the Scorpio. I don't know why it's seeming so dark in here. I mean, it's seeming dark on the camera, but it's not actually dark on my desk. Anyway, I hope you guys can get a good look at that one. This is Scorpio. I did not order this one in a 60 by 80 because for me, a 60 by 80 is really a massive size. I don't want to order diamond paintings in those huge sizes if I can avoid it. I did it with Libra because I love that image so much and because I am a, am a Libran. But with Scorpio, which is the one you're looking at now, this one I ordered in the size 50 by 65 centimeters. And then the last image or canvas that I ordered from um, the one with the diamond art is yet another Fenera image. Again, I'm sorry, I can't remember off the top of my head what this one is called. But if you're familiar with the website or with Venera's art, you probably would have seen this one because it's it's very popular. Um, was the word necromancer in the title? Possibly something like that. But anyway, this is the last one that I ordered. And again, I ordered this in rounds and in the size 50 by 65 centimeters. So you guys, that pretty much wraps up what I got from the one with the diamond art. Okay, my friends, now I'm going to end off with showing you what has come in in the last couple of months from Diamond Art Club. Another rather large haul. Uh, this is a haul of 10 diamond paintings from Diamond Art Club. And no, these do not include Black Friday. <laughs> so when I'm filming this, it's actually the day after Black Friday. Today's Saturday. Black Friday was yesterday. This video probably won't go up until the beginning of December. But just to let you know, it does not include my Black Friday haul. That I will show you um, when that comes in. And I'm not even going to tell you how many paintings I bought there. Because at the moment, I've just bought Black Friday. I haven't yet seen what cyber monday has to offer but like i say when those orders come in i will do a very separate and specific um diamond art club black friday haul so for now these are the kits that i bought before black friday <laughs> so first things first firstly we have cancer by chris Abug. this is a round drill diamond painting and it comes in the size 50.7 centimeters times 76 centimeters now i am actually trying to collect um, the full series, the Zodiac series from Chris Abug. That said, there have been a few that I didn't buy intentionally. Leo, I didn't buy Leo. It just wasn't a favorite of mine. And I didn't buy Virgo either because I, um, I wasn't in love with the rendering of it. But I'm trying to obviously buy the rest. So this one is Cancer. And um, yeah, just, a, I mean, the fact that this is a blue mermaid already says to you that I was going to buy this one, right? Then the next one that I picked up is another round roll painting. This one is called Seely Strawberry Fay by Heather Hitchman. It's um, in the size 55.8 centimeters times 70.6 centimeters. Then the next one I decided to add to my stash is a fairly oldish diamond painting. I think this one has been around for many, many months, if not years. It had been on my wish list or on my wish list for the longest time, and so I eventually decided to pick it up. This one is Petals by Yume Art. It's a square drill diamond painting, and it's rather huge, coming in at 102 centimeters times 51 centimeters. Then an artist that is no stranger to many of you, this one is Red Moon by Roy Trin. It's a square drill diamond painting in the size 55.8 centimeters times 83.7 centimeters. This is another series where I'd like to try and pick up as many of these Sailor Moon characters as I can. This one is in fact the very first one I've ordered. I did order another one now during Black Friday. Um, and then I have quite a few others on my wish list. But for now, this is the first one in my stash from this artist. Okay, guys, then next we have this gorgeous one, which you actually can't really see on the label because the label is so dark and the image itself is also so dark. I can't even guess how many bags of 310s are going to be in this one. But anyway, this is a an image by Ennis Guerrero. I generally tend to love her images. 
I don't even know if I'm going to try and pronounce this. How do you pronounce this? Equinoctium, Equinoctium by Ennis Guerrero. It's a round roll diamond painting in the size 55.8 centimeters times 78.7 centimeters. Now, some of you may be surprised that I picked this one up because I think I had mentioned in some videos that I'm battling with art that is very dark in color um, or very monotone. And I mean, hello, this one couldn't be more dark or more monotone, but I just really love the image and I don't know why I'm almost feeling myself craving some real dark images and dark art images and dark colored images. So anyway, with all of that said, guys, this is the latest Ennis that I'm going to be adding to my stash. And then next is just one that I thought was so fun and funky and different. This one is called Imaginarium and it's by Scott Howden. It's a square drill diamond painting in the size 49.6 centimeters times 61.3 centimeters. And then one that some of you might find is rather strange for me to have bought because with my love of dark art, you wouldn't think I would love this one, but I absolutely fell in love with this one. This is Mermaid Bedroom by Mrs. Butter D. It's a square drill painting in the size 55.8 centimeters times 70.7 centimeters. I just think it's so cute and so fun. And I must say, I am finding with diamond paintings that my taste is actually very varied. I used to think a few years ago that I was pretty much a dark art person and that was it. But actually, if you have a look at some of the reveal and post reviews that I'm doing lately, I don't even think there's a single dark art one there or there hasn't been a dark art one for quite a long time. So it's actually really nice to know that my tastes are so varied because there's just so much art that appeals to me. Now gang, moving on to the last three diamond paintings, which are all what I would call these extra large diamond art club sizes, or as a friend of and I call these things, we call them mothers. <laughs> so moving on to my last three canvases, all of which are mothers, let's start with this one. So this one is a gorgeous dragon called Empower. It's by Raylene Fellin. It's a square drill diamond painting in the size 60 by 85 centimeters. This one, actually, the size is not ridiculous. It's probably not what I would call a mother, but it is still a rather large size. Um, I decided to pick this one up because I just absolutely love dragons. And when I saw, I think I saw a sneak peek of this one and the colors were just so bright and fun. Um, and again, some of you might be surprised because I'd also said I was really trying not to buy these extra large canvases. But... I've just decided that saying that or telling myself that is actually just an exercise in futility because when I see an image I love, I just want to buy it. So, yes, guys, this one is Empower. Like I said, it's a square. Um, one thing to remember or to note with Diamond Art Club, their extra large canvases or their mothers are always squares. I've never seen a really, really large canvas um, in rounds. So if you do fall in love with the image, but you're not necessarily necessarily <laughs> a square lover, you might just need to get your mind around squares because these very large ones do only tend to come in squares. And then my second last extra large canvas, this is yet another dragon. Not very clear. I can see here on the, on the um, photo on the box, but just really a beautiful dragon, this one. This one is called Gift from the Void, again by Raveline Fellin. Also a square drill diamond painting. As I said to you guys, these large ones will always be squares. And the size here is 60 centimeters times 85 centimeters. And then last, but by no means least, one of my very favorite canvases that I've bought in the last few months. Something about this one just speaks to me. I love it. I love the image. I love the colors. And so, like I say, this is probably one of my favorites in this order um, and definitely one of my favorites in this order from Diamond Art Club. So this one is called Broken Heart Hollow. It's by Inna Morte. Again, like I said, it's a square drill diamond painting and the size is 65 centimeters times 84 centimeters. So guys, that pretty much wraps up today's video. I'm not even sure how long this was, and I'm not even sure, well, I can actually calculate it. How many canvases did I show you? There were 10 from Diamond Art Club. There were eight from the one with the Diamond Art, so we get to 18. 
and there were four from Pam Diamond paintings. So guys, 22 new canvases. Oh my God, I've got to get my, excuse my, my language now, but I've got to get my shit under control. <laughs> I really, really do need to get my, my buying under control. But let me not freak out. <laughs> You see, doing a video like this even makes me want to freak out. No, I bought quite a lot during Black Friday, but that is really going to be the end of this heavy buying. Like I say, Diamond Art Club and, a, you know, a few others will still be on my radar, but really the buying is going to go way down. So I hope you enjoyed this stash video. Like I said at the beginning, please, no nasty comments <laughs> about the size of my stash or how much I'm buying. You know, let's just all be happy for each other with this hobby. Um, and I'm sure you are. You guys, as my subscribers, I know you, you guys don't get offended by my buying and my super large stash. <laughs> In fact, I had one subscriber last time I made my stash video who posted a comment and said, oh, great stash, but the video was too short. <laughs> Meaning that I hadn't bought enough. So yeah, guys, this pretty much wraps up today's video. I hope you had fun. I had lots of fun showing you all of these new canvases. I will come back at you with another video like this when all of my Black Friday um, kits arrive. Those will obviously also be going into my stash. And then, like I've said a few times now from there, things are going to calm down substantially. Anyway, you guys, how many kits have you bought over the last few months? I'm sure many of you probably can't do better than 22, but definitely let me know in the comments. And of course, happy diamond painting, gang. Bye.